Formula One has experienced massive growth in the last few years in terms of its audience, and it seems as though its grid is about to get bigger too. Mario Andretti, a former Formula One driver, and his son Michael Andretti are making headway toward establishing their own Formula One team. Would Andretti's dream of owning an F1 team come to reality? Stay tuned to find out. Mario Andretti disclosed in February 2022 that Andretti Global had submitted an application to the FIA for a Formula One entry beginning with the 2024 season. Mario Andretti claimed that the potential racing team has the resources and checks every box. Mario subsequently added that the group had an official arrangement with Renault to make use of the power units manufactured by the French company. Andretti's proposed Formula One entry comes after Michael Andretti's multi-category racing operation. Andretti Autosport was unsuccessful in its attempt to acquire the Sauber-run Alfa Romeo F1 team in 2021. The takeover deal fell through at the very last minute. However, the F1 paddock has had a mixed reaction to the possibility of Andretti entering the sport. This is due to the fact that adding an 11th team would cut into the prize money that is now distributed among the 10 existing teams. Less than a week after the application was filed, Toto Wolff stated Andretti is a name, that's for sure, and the American market is important. But every team that is joining needs to be accretive, which means it needs to add value. And it's not only by paying the $200 million entry fee, but it needs to demonstrate, in my opinion, what it can do for the other teams, for F1 and FIA. Only then will the sport grow. In August 2022, F1 CEO Stefano Domenicali stated that the sport did not require the addition of any new teams and cast doubt on the proposed Andretti-backed entry into F1. Despite the negativity surrounding the Andretti entry, Michael claimed that preparations were still ongoing to join the F1 grid. Michael said, yeah, we're still moving forward. We're still working hard. I think we made pretty good progress in the last couple of months and we're not giving up. As opposed to what Wolf had earlier remarked, Andretti is a lot more than just a name. It's a family name that has become synonymous with open wheel racing in the United States, making it a very marketable brand. Mario is the only driver in history to have ever won the Formula One championship, the Daytona 500 and the Indianapolis 500 in consecutive years. Michael Andretti is also one of the most successful drivers in the history of American open wheel racing. He won the CART PPG IndyCar World Championship in 1991 holds the record for the most victories by a driver in any kart series and ranks fourth in the list of all-time wins. His Andretti Autosports team has a total of five victories at the Indianapolis 500 and four IndyCar Series titles to their name. In addition, Andretti Autosport competes in numerous categories, including the IMSA LMP3 division, Formula E, Indy Lights, and NTT IndyCar Series. This shows how deeply ingrained the Andretti family is in the world of motorsport racing. But the issues that Andretti faced was that many people who had a stake in Formula One were skeptical about whether or not it would be worthwhile to widen the grid to accommodate a solitary Andretti global entry. And because Formula One would prefer to open the grid to automobile manufacturers, the majority of individuals voiced their opposition to Andretti's plan to establish his own F1 team. But with the most recent turn of events, Andretti could be inching closer to securing a spot on the Formula One grid. After the head of the FIA, Mohamed Ben Suliam, declared that new teams would be allowed to join the grid, Andretti and General Motors, the largest automobile manufacturer in the United States, revealed that they would be partnering together. Andretti and GM have been in discussions for several months and have fleshed out several parts of their planned F1 project in anticipation of making a formal application. The potential team would initially receive a power unit supply from another engine manufacturer, but both Andretti and Cadillac are set to offer technical support as part of a collaboration. The primary base of operations for the team would be the new Andretti Global headquarters that are now being built in Fishers, Indiana, and is scheduled to open for business in the year 2025. A satellite factory would also operate out of Europe for the team, as well as aiding with Andretti's other racing interests. The F1 team would be known as Andretti Cadillac Racing. Before we continue, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. Thanks for doing that, let's move on. Andretti stated in the announcement that the American automobile manufacturer provides his proposed Formula One team with the added value that stakeholders in the sport have always said is necessary for new teams to bring to the table. Andretti said, one of the big things was, what does Andretti bring to the party? Well, we're bringing one of the biggest manufacturers in the world with us now, with General Motors and Cadillac. We feel that was the one box that we didn't check, that we do have checked now. I think we'll be bringing a tremendous amount of support to Formula One, and it's hard for anyone to argue with that. 
F1 immediately responded in the same tone it has used ever since Andretti began pressing for expansion by pointing out that it has other parties interested in entering the series and that Andretti is merely the most visible of those companies. F1 said in a statement, There is great interest in the F1 project at this time with a number of conversations continuing that are not as visible as others. We all want to ensure the championship remains credible and stable and any new entrant request will be assessed on criteria to meet those objectives by the relevant stakeholders. Reports have it that Hong Kong billionaire Calvin Lowe wants to bankroll a new Asian team. And he is not the only interested party from the East, with the Panthera Team Asia project also raising funds to submit a bid to the FIA. Whether or not any of them are successful remains to be seen. Andretti said despite F1's statement, he still believes Andretti Global is the strongest applicant. He admitted F1 has not shared the other interested parties with him. Andretti said, we have the opportunity to combine our motorsport passions with GM and dedication to innovation to build a true American F1 bid. Together, we will continue to follow procedures and steps put forward by the FIA during the evaluation process. In the meantime, we continue to optimistically prepare should we be fortunate enough to have Andretti Cadillac formally approved as a Formula One contender. Andretti's goal has always been to field a team representing the United States of America in Formula One, which is the highest level of motorsport. While Haas claims that they are the team of the United States, Andretti has pointed out quite correctly that the majority of their operations are conducted out of England and Italy, that they use an Italian engine and that they have a German and a Dane driving for them. The Andrettis are doing the opposite. The main base will be stateside with a satellite site in the UK. The car will be designed and constructed in the US and the power unit may be as well one day. It is not just the parts that will come from the USA either. A recruitment campaign has already begun, and there is no doubt that an American will take the helm of the Andretti team if and when they finally make their debut on the grid. Andretti is well aware that there is a market to be won, and it is not an accident that their interest has developed at a time when the attention of the American audience is completely focused on Formula One. But have you ever wondered, why is the sport so attractive now? In the 2010s, for example, a number of teams folded within the span of only a few short years due to the fact that the financial requirements of merely surviving in the sport let alone competing in it, proved to be an obstacle that was insurmountable for many of them. But the current scene is much different. Since Liberty Media acquired Formula One, the sport has grown significantly more stable and financially responsible. Now that it is warming to the idea of a new car team, it seems the FIA is confident that as long as all the proper due diligence is carried out, any new entrant would have a solid chance of survival. There will be no shortage of companies and brands that are interested in staking a claim on the rapidly expanding Formula One pie. Audi is already in, Porsche came close before the collapse of its Red Bull deal and is still interested. Ford has been linked with a return to F1, Honda has signed up for the 2026 engine rules and Hyundai has also been tipped to get involved. Still, the FIA will be following its complete process and it is not sure if Andretti will get the nod or if someone else does. Either way, F1 is promising more teams in the future to the existing 10, which means 20 plus cars on the grid. What do you think about an all-American team like Andretti competing in Formula 1? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. That will be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can always get to watch more amazing videos like this. See you in the next video.